Hello, welcome back, Sky Mechanic. Just a quick video on my buggy. When I was showing the Jeep, I showed, well, in the background, and I kind of showed the chassis. And then I decided to cut the chassis and make it into a buggy. <clears throat> but, one of the mods updated, and you can now get differentials. A small one. And a big one. So I thought it would look much better than doing axles like this. So I tried it. So I stuck one on the back of my buggy. And it looks really good. It looks a little small, in my opinion. But it looks good. And then I decided it needed a drive shaft. So I put in a drive shaft. Which isn't. Okay, yeah. And then if I uh, put it the way it's supposed to be, it lags. Yep. And there goes the frames. But I just used a couple U joints and a slider piston. And then a couple bearings and attach it to the engine so it actually spins. I'll uh, open the door and then show you. So the axle itself is like, pretty much exactly how it was, just using um, pipes instead of those uh, blocks. And then I put the differential in the middle. And it's... the way the game is, it's like the... Uh, or the way I have it set up, it's like the differential has a clutch in it or something because the uh, drive shaft can spin on its own. <clears throat> but it gives it a much better look. I think it does at least. It doesn't harm the articulation or anything. I'm not sure what mod pack it's from, but after the when I'm done recording this, I will go and check, and then I'll put I'll say specifically in the description what it is, and then as usual I will put links to all of the mods I use. But I haven't shown this yet, at least I don't think I have. So this is the buggy I've been working on, my new buggy. It has. Uh, the straight axle with three link in the front and back. The upper link is a Y link because it's in the shape of a Y. It um, uses the an engine from the V8 engine pack, which I'm thinking about changing now that there's the modular engine parts. Um, yeah. Sorry if I sniffing. Still stuffed up. Um. I'm slowly working on this as I build other stuff. Same with the Jeep. It'll have lights eventually and all that wonderful stuff. Not sure if you noticed, but that duck, I didn't put it there. I was distracted. Um, the Jeep. I showed really quick, just like a little teaser. Since then, the biggest part I've done with it, I'm gonna put this on the lift because it's so laggy. Actually, I just have to, for some reason, bring the drive shaft up like that makes it really laggy. So I'll just kind of do that. Come on, there we go. Close the door. <clears throat> And up we go. So, I'll be doing some more interior work. I covered up the rear suspension. But, as you can see inside, I've done some work inside. And it moves and gets laggy. 
But using the modular engine parts, I made a V8. A turbocharged V8. Just because. But I'm not really liking how I did it because. Thump, 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 thump. Holy sh. Wow. Anyways, the headers. It goes back and then down under the transmission like it would in a real one. But then it comes up and then to here. So I really want to change that. I'm just thinking of a way to change that. And I just thought of something, so I'll do that. And then there's no intercooler, because I couldn't really fit one. But you don't really need one, it just helps cool down the air. But compressing it like this also cools it down, I believe. And then depending on the fuel you run, it will help cool it down and whatnot. I had a uh, like a blow off valve type thing up here but I couldn't it wasn't fitting properly in the space that I have so I took it out and then it's just a single exhaust down the side that will come out back here somewhere <clears throat> I want to put a full lighting kit on it but I don't think I really have the room for it or how I'm going to do it because the one I have the one I have that works the best I uh, got from the workshop and it's very big as you can see it takes up a lot of space so I need something like this that will fit in a smaller spot There is a challenge for Brent or, or like Mini or someone. Make something like this a full lighting controller as small as possible. So, I'm actually going to show this off really quick then. Um, I'll just kind of make a platform to stick it to with a seat and some lights. <clears throat> While I'm doing this, I got a new mic. It is a blue snowball. And I'm having a issue with it where it's either well, either way, it's too quiet, but it's very sensitive. I put it onto a different mode and I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me, sorry. I put it onto a different mode that's less sensitive, and it wasn't sensitive enough. It was even more quiet. So if anyone has any tips for it, let me know. Okay, so this attaches to here, and where's that loose bearing? Right there. And then some lights. Uh, headlights. Turn signals. Tail lights. If I remember how to do this right. Oh, and backup light. <laughs> ah, sorry. Okay, so this is the tail light, I believe. Um, this is the stop. Uh, sorry, the reverse light. <laughs> Turn signal. I know for sure. And I'm not sure what the other ones are. So, yes, that turns off. And that turns on. Um, oops, I didn't set up the buttons or connect them. left and off okay those are just uh these are tail lights that are also turn signals but it's supposed to turn off when I turn oh it's backwards okay so yeah 
I don't want it to t uh, uh, turn off when I turn. I'd like it to turn off when I release the button. <laughs> but I like... And not as loud. Because this is super loud. <laughs> but other than that, I'd like something like this. I'll put a link in the description. But, much smaller. <laughs> and a little bit better. <laughs> um... Another project that I've started, now that we have the diffs, is I've wor started working on a big truck using the diffs. And this is as far as I've gotten, because I can't figure out how I want to do the, uh, this, um, yeah, the other links and springs. So, yeah, that's that. I was just going to talk about that, but this ended up being more of a update project video thing. So, uh, yeah. If you have any ideas for anything I've shown, let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I thank you for watching.